Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. This loading screen confirms the leaks, guys. The Level Up promo, a new never-seen-before promo in FIFA 23, is coming tomorrow. We've got that loading screen with the first official glimpse at the car design, but there's another car design that's been added to the code that might tell us a bit more about what this promo could actually bring to FIFA 23 this weekend. I want to talk about that, theorize with you a little bit, and also look back to yesterday's content with that 93 plus tots or shapeshifted player pick that surprised us and finally moved some fodder prices a lot of that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new let's look at that SBC first the 93 plus tots or shapeshifters player pick it was kind of a surprise yesterday we finally had a good upgrade pack SBC and man 93 plus that's like the highest rating on a pack that we have seen tots tots moments and shapeshifters included in this but not shapeshifter icons and EA with that high rating said we're also going to place a high price in this SBC 270,000 coins but the way that I look at it is and we talked about this a lot this spring and into the summer especially the higher price the upgrade pack SBC is usually the better the weight on this pack now this one for me was actually pretty good I think this is a really craftable and one that you probably want to get done uh, before it refreshes on Saturday and uh, before it goes away just because it gives you your best chance yet of a top tier upper echelon player you can see a lot of these players that are in the most popular list on footbin are the guys that are getting packed from this SBC I myself got Pedri right this SBC is 270k he's a 300,000 coin card a lot of people I saw getting Mane's Barella Teo Hernandez there were some really good cards that were coming out of this player pick as long as you don't have them as like duplicates or whatever uh, or red versions already in your club this is a really solid player pick and right it's expensive for a reason because it actually gives you a really good opportunity at packing those really good team of the season and or shapeshifter cards we even had a guy get Usman Dembele yesterday on stream it was pretty crazy so definitely one that if you can craft it and if you can get it done it's probably worth the gamble if you can get it done once or twice, I think it's kind of worth to go for. Now, since a lot of people are going for this one as well, there's a lot of hype already. 88 and 90 rated squads is why this SBC is so expensive. It's kind of crazy, though. You think about an 88 and a 90 rated squad only being 260,000 coins combined. Usually during the year, a 90 rated squad alone earlier on in FIFA would have been about 260k. But fodder is still very cheap overall. But finally, something to make these prices move. If you still had invested and still had held on to some of these middle to high tier fodder ratings, yesterday presented a really good opportunity to sell, in my opinion, because of the upcoming, I guess, unknowns about this level up promo this weekend. These 88s went from like 11, 12,000 coins all the way to like 15, 16K yesterday at their peak. Yeah, 15 and a half thousand coins. Guys, in my opinion, not a bad opportunity to take the cash on some of these if you don't want to risk it. Because yes, if this is a SBC based promo upcoming, could these guys go up further? They could, but you know, we really don't know. It all depends on what this promo looks like. And right now, with the TOTS cards being supplied every single day, I just can't imagine that these prices are going to keep going up like crazy high, like, you know, for too long, especially with that supply coming in there. 91s were the biggest movers yesterday. These guys went up about 10,000 coins per card. If you invested in any of these, these are absolutely ballooning, right? From 16K all the way to 25, 26,000 coins on the 91 cards. Tots, you know, golds, everything going up there. So maybe a safe time to take the cash because of a lot of this demand that is here. And again, we'll talk more about fodder in a little bit in regards to this upcoming promo and how it might be impacted. Now, also yesterday, we had a player SBC. Edmund Tapsoba. Now, I already completed it. It's a goalkeeper SBC, and it was actually delayed. I don't know what's going on with EA recently, but this has happened a few times in the past, like, month or so, is uh, they've kind of, like, delayed this content, like, maybe an hour or two. Sometimes they mess up an SBC. But regardless, Tapsoba dropped as a goalkeeper yesterday, a premium card, which is a W for the links. He's five-star skills, three-star weak foot. I've actually tried this card out but not really in net. And you might, Nate, why would you not try this guy out in as a goalkeeper? That's his position. Well, in max cam game mode, which is the cup, that uh, the mode that we play the cup in, he can play striker, right? And he can be on any position and be on full chemistry. 32,000 coins, really good price. But 
Look at his stats, right? This is why I was playing him at striker. If you look on Footbin, the way he's added into the database, which is, I believe, how he is formatted in-game, he's got the goalkeeper stats, but just like Kyle Walker and some of these other guys that have been shapeshifted to goalkeepers, he also has in-game stats, which includes 99 shot power and finishing. Now, I can confirm I used him in friendly modes in the cup, and man, his 99 finishing does not feel like 99 finishing at all. But it was very interesting to try him out there. He didn't feel that horrendous in game, but I'm excited to try him out a little bit more as a goalkeeper. And for 33,000, 35,000 coins, whatever it may be, with the premium links, W from EA. Not too much else to talk about there with that card. And then we had a, another premium player that was released as our free objective player, 93 rated Taylor Booth fodder. At the very least, nice card there from EA to release um, for basically free. So that was all the content yesterday. Let's look forward now because there's a lot of buzz and a lot of questions around this level up promo. What in the world is this car design, man? Like this is this is crazy, right? It's dope. It's crazy. There's just so many moving parts inside of it. You know, when I first saw this, I thought of one thing. I thought of Minecraft, right? With all the blocks and stuff like that. It kind of looks like Minecraft vibes, but also it kind of has like the flashback car design, right? The blocks, kind of the pixelated look to it. But this one's obviously way different with the arrows that are going up and with all the different covers, uh, colors inside of it. We actually have two designs though, right? There's this one that is on the loading screen, which is the normal level up car design. But actually added to the code, tweeted by Sahil and Foot Scoreboard a few hours ago, we actually have a premium version of the level up car design as well, which would, I guess, uh, we would assume, have the exact same links as the Shapeshifters premium cards have had, just like Tap Soba does, just like Zaha does in this game. We're assuming it's going to be the exact same thing. So with that being confirmed, two different car designs. Does that really tell us that much more about the promo? Not necessarily, right? I mean, could it be shapeshifters and they could be in packs? Yeah. Could it be like footies last year and have cards only in SBCs but still have the regular and the premium item? Yes, that is true as well, guys. So I don't think we can take a look at these two card designs and say, yep, they're going to be in packs just because of how it looks in shapeshifters because there have been promos in the past, namely footies last year, where there was a premium design and a regular design and they were all in SBCs or objectives. So there's still a lot of question marks. We didn't have any more leaks about this promo, just the car design. EA's been pretty tight-lipped with the leaks so far. I don't know if they've got Sheriff on payroll or I don't know what's going on, but uh, the leaks have been not very far ahead and not very revealing. Some cards we've even seen drop as SBCs like Trent weren't even leaked ahead of time. So I will bring up though one interesting theory. We didn't talk about this specifically yesterday, but there's actually a thought that maybe this promo would include players from earlier promos in FIFA this year, but it would give them an opportunity to be re-released with this new card design with better stats that would kind of bring them up to speed in the current power curve, right? And this was one of my examples yesterday on stream. Sancho doesn't have any promo cards since his winter wild cards. What if EA took this card, gave him a 95 or a 96 rated version, put him in packs, gave him this card design and said, hey, this is the level up promo. We're taking cards from all across the entire year and we're leveling them up to the current standards of the summer and the power curve. And you kind of look at this card design and you see a lot of different colors, right? Maybe that was one thing that went through my mind but also this is a promo concept that has happened on fifa mobile yes it is true ea in fifa ultimate team they have taken ideas from fifa mobile before remember carnival that promo took place in fifa mobile before it ever took place in ultimate team now i'm going to show you this card right here because this has actually happened in fifa mobile before in the team of the year this last year in, in fifa mobile there was a 91 rated like team of the year honorable mentions basically of jordan henderson right you see 91 rated with the team new design what they did was they did a promo called retro stars which upgraded already existing cards in the game to crazy high ratings and gave them a new card design and made them look like super cracked, right? Well, of course, we know in Ultimate Team, ratings don't go above 100. So this is a bit different, right? FIFA Mobile's got their own crazy situation going on with this. But that's the kind of thing we're potentially maybe going to see with this promo. That's, again, a theory. It is not confirmed. But when you take a look at, like, this card design, and this is just a prediction and just a concept that Sahil had whipped up um, a while back, a couple hours ago, this is the sort of thing that could happen, right? Maybe even the same exact dynamic as this winter wildcard Sancho 
put on a new card with different stats, an upgrade. So again, that is just a theory that is not confirmed. And I'm tired of theorizing, man. EA, drop a loading screen today and tell us more about this promo. I do expect, guys, to learn about this promo a bit more today. And we need to because we're going crazy with all the theories. I do like the new promos and I love the hype around those. But we got to get kind of what's behind them uh known pretty soon because this could be a card promo with there's cards in packs or it could be an sbc slash objective based promo we need some leaks we need some news today on fifa and that's probably the biggest thing we're going to be looking for is a brand new loading screen and potentially some leaks guys dropping on this game today i would really really tell you to watch out for a loading screen today i would be surprised if it did not update especially when ea start loading screens on wednesdays thursdays they update them and we get a little bit more information and i would expect to see some leaks on twitter as well at least a little bit more information about what in the world this level up promo is going to look like now with this level up promo coming i do want to talk through a few more things that we can maybe prepare and look ahead towards and also an sbc that's expiring today one of the first things about thursday content today on this game is the 82 plus player pick sbc is expiring so if you want to kind of chance it and hope that we're going to get new promo cards in packs that you would potentially want to save some player picks for or you just want to open up some player picks maybe later today or, or tomorrow with the weekend and have some fodder ready to go these expire today guys we saw this when they were first released and we were very confused as to why this is going to be happening but this 82 plus player pick does go away today so that's one thing to be very careful of if you have gold rares their prices are probably going to be dropping a little bit because this SBC is going away as well which is a little bit of pain i would have loved to be able to craft these and obviously today is a big day for objectives as well um before we get into that i do i believe i have two player picks here yeah i've got an 82 plus and the 86 plus i just whipped up i was doing some menu crafting wow that's like my third carval haul in the last two hours and now an 86 plus who are we going to get an 87 Rodri, very nice. But um, if you're opening player picks or if you're doing SBCs and saving those player picks for Friday, today you're not going to be able to open the final day, day seven of the login upgrade, right? We're going to be all today able to get a Shapeshifters player pack and an 85 times five. And if you save player picks for tomorrow on Friday, you're not going to be able to open these packs, which is kind of like a tough situation. I think I might save some player picks just to at least have some there. At the very least scenario, if it's just cards re-released in packs, you'll have some player picks ready to go to maybe pack some of those guys and to get some fodder. But today's a really big day for the guaranteed shapeshifter player and, of course, that 85 times 5 which is going to give out some fodder onto this game. We do have a couple more leaks that we still haven't seen yet. The Ever Benega that we looked at in yesterday's video, I would have to imagine, unless that league is false, that's going to be a card that drops on this game today and then probably a new installation of the throwback marquee matchups i don't think there's any sbcs that are refreshing today apart from our normal refreshers and then some sbcs are expiring uh buffon is going away today of course you got the daily login refreshing for not the last time so if you missed a day or two you still have a, a day or two extra to get this one done the 86 plus player pick is refreshing um today as well and then yeah marquee matchups so i'm not expecting too much in objectives xp probably dropped uh, tomorrow on Friday. Let's talk about market a bit. You see like 37 sold items. No, I've not been trading. I was just doing some of the grind uh, with the silver crafting objective to work on Kamavinga, which right now I am like 15 or almost 15, 14 out of 15 completions. So I got to get cooking to try to get Kamavinga all the way to his completion. But the market's pretty stable, guys, right? And it makes sense because we haven't learned too much about what this promo is going to look like. Some prices on the impact shapeshifters are down a little bit. Actually, this is the lowest that I've seen Ugo Yuri, 730k. That's a bit of an undercut, though. Actually, if I see the next few cards on the market, um, he is about to be back to like 800, which is his normal price. So if that 730 is still there, it's not, unfortunately. But if that 730 was still there, I would probably have picked it up because it looks like he's about to be back up around 790,000 coins here very soon and uh you know you can still trade on this market and prices on this market uh, like we said in yesterday's video they have been going up a little bit because the content's not been that great and there's less panic for footies because that's kind of the big name marquee promo that everybody started to expect and that's what caused a lot of the panic selling and again that combination of not a lot of insane content and not a lot of panic 
is uh, creating these, a situation where these prices actually go back up a little bit. Now, these TOTS cards are still getting supplied every day. But if you think about it, I think less people are doing the TOTS upgrade pack every day just because it's become like a normal thing. Um, and it's going to maybe a little bit repetitive. So just be careful with this market. If there's going to be brand new cards that are released um, with this promo and like insane players like a... I don't know, like a summer heat, but in packs, that could definitely impact some shapeshifters. Now, if it is an SBC or objective-based promo, that will probably impact shapeshifters less because, of course, cards that are SBCs and objectives are not available on the market. And a lot of people just go and get cards off the market. That's the only place where they shop in this game. They don't do a ton of objectives. And uh, whenever there's not cards available on the market as new ones, the old ones that are the most recent usually see a bit of a bump. So uh, those rare cards are having some of those bumps. Like we just looked at Neymar, look at Ronaldo. You look at the team of the year, team of the season, Mbappes. These guys, these guys are still going to absolutely get crazy crushed in the next month maybe into august they're gonna get crushed in price that's what always happens at this time of the year but at least right now we don't know when they're gonna get re-released in packs to get crushed right that's the sort of thing with these meta tier prices on the market now let's talk about fodder a little bit more we mentioned in the beginning of the video that i have a few more thoughts on fodder i think you just have to be careful with it guys because again all of these tots cards with this the slow content that we had these guys were all the way down at like 12, 13,000 coins at their absolute lowest. People were snagging these for like 12K on bid for 91 rated cards. Like that's atrociously cheap, right? And if some of you guys bought, that's a GG for sure because those prices are really cheap. But again, my worry is that if this promo is bringing new cards only into SBCs and objectives, it's going to re-release some of these older out-of-pack specials in best of batches. And what are we gonna have then? We're gonna have the same problem that we saw during the team of the season where fodder prices tanked and dropped because all of these cards that were like 93, 92 rated were hitting the market with supply and uh, it was pushing fodder prices down. Think about if they re-release a Barella back in the packs, right? He's 36,000 coins. What is the cheapest 92 rated, like 20 something K or 30 K? 25K for the cheapest 92. He would end up being one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest 92 rated card in the game if he was re-released back into packs because of the supply. And that would push the top tier of fodder prices down a, again a bit more that's why i think it's a decent opportunity to sell with this spike i think the way that we're going to be trading with fodder throughout the rest of the year is going to be trading in and around these short sbcs right you trade you invest in 91s right they get really low let's say they go back down to like 15k again you buy them at 15k they boom they go up to 25,000 coins boom you sell within a day or two and because then you've got the tots pack that is still tradable on this game that is supplying these cards everybody still needs tots cards because ea is still recording acquiring them in SBCs. Um, so you've got people that are doing this SBC, you've got tradable supply coming onto the market, and then you have a best of in packs, all pushing those prices down and supplying them. That's why I think the fodder quick flips are going to be the play for the rest of the year. It's not like you're going to buy fodder and expect it to go up over two, three weeks. It's like you buy fodder for this week, it goes up in two days, boom, you take the sale, and then you move on if you're still trying to make some coins at the end of this game so that's kind of how i'm feeling about that i'm gonna keep going with this grind that i got going on right now speaking of those tots packs i'm gonna have to go do this tots pack and uh rinse my 84 rated carval hall into that so that i can get out of that fodder and continue on this Kamavinga craft and uh yeah daily login the cup i have to go four and one in the cup today i gotta get four wins uh to get my 85 times 10 which is gonna be some nice fodder packs that i may not be able to even open until uh, this promo. I might actually have a decent pack stash if I'm going to start building player picks uh, for this level up promo because I will not be able to open anything as those player picks will be sitting in my sign. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Uh, it should be hopefully uh, a decent Thursday. The, really the biggest piece of content today is figuring out what in the world this promo looks like with leaks, with a loading screen, and hopefully some news. There's a lot more we're going to talk about in tomorrow's video related to this promo once we get the information. So make sure you check it out tomorrow. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys there. Peace.